Hello guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Building a Legacy. We've had a good start as you can see. We've got 6 wins on the board, 2 draws and no defeats. So a 75% win rate at the moment. So I guess you want to see how we've done that. But before you do, just hit that like button. And if you haven't already, just bash that subscribe button. If we could hit just 10 likes today, that'd be brilliant. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. As I said in the intro, we've been on quite the run since we started. Eight games, six wins and two draws. What a start. Never expected to see that. Recent form. You can see the two draws down here against Oldham and Forest Green Rovers. We then beat Colchester, Bradford and Leighton Orient. So as things stand in the league, we have moved all the way up to 12th place now. So when we started, we were down in 23rd. We did manage to pull them out of the relegation zone in our first game. But we've been on a massive roll since then and all the way up to 12th at the moment. And this is the full list of results. South End was the first game you were with us for. And then we played two games against Cheltenham and Mansfield, both picking up wins. And then you've just seen the recent form that we're on. Oldham, Forest Green with draws. And then Colchester, Bradford City and Leighton Orient picking up wins there. So really good start. One piece of news to go over with you. I have promoted this guy, Leon Davis, to the first team. He was an under-23. We needed a right back who could play back up to Noel, and this guy is fantastic. Everything in his technicals looks fairly good. His mentals look pretty good too. He's already got a 9 on determination, which isn't too bad for a player in the lower leagues. And his physicals are well up there for a player that's just 21. So since coming in for us, he's played against Cheltenham and Mansfield. He had a full game against Oldham and he played against Colchester and Bradford. So he's had a few games to get his feet under the table. Six out of a possible ten games. But this is what we're here for. The game against Stevenage. A local rivalry. A long time coming to play them in the league. If we pick up a win today, we can get to within two points of them. And you can see just how close we are to already the playoffs. Five points separate us and the playoffs. So the team we're looking to go with today is Mitov in goal, Field, Burley, Darling and Noel across the back line. The midfield three of Botang, Digby and Houlihan. And then up front, Bennett, Hannant and Rogers. Now Hannant is in for the injured Paul Mullin who, by the looks of it, is going to be out for 11 more days. So we're going to miss him over the next couple of fixtures. But Hannant has been fairly good when he's come in. So a quick look at the team sheet from Stevenage and Cambridge. Again, I don't know too much about these lower league players yet. I've not got enough time to get to know them. But I'm sure over time we will. Seeing as how it is a derby, I'm going to go in with outstretched arms for the players. And I'm going to say the media have been praising you lately, but don't let that put pressure on your performance. Everyone just looks composed, not really made much of a difference. My early team talks don't seem to be making much of a difference. Let's get out onto the field and let's see if we can do our thing again. We've been playing fairly well up to now. Made a couple of slight alterations in the tactics for the lower leagues. We've made Rogers a poacher as opposed to a complete forward. He wasn't doing enough as a complete forward. I'm hoping, having him as a poacher, the rest of the team will do the job work and he can just hang about up there and mop up at the end. We've also gone to take shots from anywhere as opposed to wait to get the ball into the box or anything. Early throw in and it is Stevenage with the throw. We've collected it in their area. Rogers brings it back to Houlihan. A nice through ball to Rogers. Oh, narrowly wide. Narrowly wide there. Could have had an early lead. And that's the sort of shot that I'd expect Rogers to be putting away. Highlight continues. Coming with the goal kick. Big ball upfield. And the ball goes on to Ole. Oh, he's gone through. And we Oh... Oter has put, put us a goal down. 
just when I thought we'd scored at the other end and straight over the top. That's the first over the top ball that's come through and beat us this season. I think I'll just send some encouragement out to the team. I don't want them to get too down about that. It's cheered everyone up, got everyone smiling. So early on in this game, we trail by a goal to nil. We have had more shots though. Null to Hannant across the box. Digby on the end of it. It's been cleared out again. Houlihan out wide. Null pulls it back. Botang takes the shot. I'm not sure what happened there. It's ended up out for a corner. Botang with the corner into the box. It's been cleared away there. And here's a tear going forward. This guy is like a rocket when he gets going with that ball. We need to get it off him. And in the end, the only way to get it off him is bring him down. Well, another opportunity for us. We're already up to 0.56 expected goals. Houlihan with a free kick. He goes along the floor to Bennett. Bennett, where's he going to go from here? He's gone all the way back to Digby. Digby to Field. Field through to Digby. Back to Field. To Burley. Burley to Digby. Houlihan. Houlihan goes all the way out. And he's found into the box. The cross across the box. And the ball pings about before Stevenage are able to get it away. Digby. Botang. We could still make the most of this. Field through to Bennett. Bennett into the box. He takes the shot and that's just miles wide. Unlucky there. We've had a good start to this game. Eight shots to Stevenage's two. But we've trailed and it's not through want of trying. Here we go again. Noel with the throw. And he's throwing it backwards to Botang. Botang back to Darlin. Darlin brings it forward. Nice ball through on the right wing to Noel. No into the box and Bennett's arriving. It's in the back of the net. Third goal of the season for Bennett. He scored the first goal for us in the last episode. And he scored today. 1-1. One, one. We're back in this game. And you can see from the expected goals we definitely deserve to be. We probably should be leading this game. Let's get some encouragement out there to the players again. And that's perked everyone up again. Big smiles down the bottom. Currently sees us sitting in 12th in the league. And you can see up here, Stevenage up in 6th. I mean, we're doing really well against the team that's in the playoffs. I'm just wondering whether to go attacking or not. I mean, the game's going so well at the moment. I wonder if... This could be a big mistake, attacking for the last 10 minutes of the first half. I mean, if we could just grab a late goal just before half time, we'd be rocking and rolling coming into the second half. They've got a corner. Now, corners I'm always worried about. We have changed our defensive corner routine recently. Took the players off of the posts and put them on marking the posts my, uh, marking players at the posts. Lee sends it across, and Stevenage continue to build an attack here. Big ball over the top, and it's again, it's gone straight over the top, but it's been disallowed offside. We've been caught out again with a over the top ball to their centre forward. And how close is this? That is tight. We've got away with that. Another day, that could have been classed as a goal. Maybe attacking is a little bit optimistic here. We are away from home as well. We need to remember that. If we just get into half time, I think I'll change that back to positive and we'll sit at that for the second half and see what happens. So, half time, we've got a 1 1 at the moment. Expected goals, well sees us in front of this game, but we just can't seem to grab that next step goal. Get into the dressing room. I am going to go in there, pump my fists, 
We've been the better team. Just keep doing what you're doing and we'll be fine. We're also jumping onto the tactics and we're going to go back to a positive mentality. We seem to be getting a better job done with that. So let's get the second half started and hopefully make the most of it. So early on, nothing changing. Just getting into the first five minutes. Players will be just feeling their way into this second half. We've moved up to 11th in the league. So that would be another good thing. I mean, we're not playing brilliantly in the middle of the park. 6.4 Houlihan, 6.5 Botang, and 6.6 .6 for Digby. Maybe that's where we need to focus on altering something. Who have we got on the bench who we could possibly bring on? And there's a couple of players there that we could make changes with. Just going to give a quick demand more shout out to the team. Noel, into the box. It's been cleared away. Can we get that ball back or are they going to make an attack here? They've sent it into the middle. And now Hutton through. Osborne goes out wide but it's intercepted by Bennett. Botang, Burley, Botang. Houlihan over the top and here's one of our own big balls through. Rogers went chasing but it goes all the way through to coming. No problem there. And at the moment the goalkeeper looks like he's looking for someone to go with. He's gone for a big ball of his own. Burley's try clearing it but it's fell straight to one of their. Oh, Aitchison has put them back in the lead. We don't deserve to be behind in this game. Oh my god, let's make some changes. Let's see who we can bring on as a sub and see if it can do anything. El Mazzuni is going to come on for Houlihan. Anyone else playing particularly poorly? Not really. Liam O'Neill for Botang, no. Right, Liam O'Neill for Digby. Just a couple of, just to try and freshen up the side, see if they can come up with something different. We've been the better side in this, so we need to find a way back into it. Possession is starting to come round now. The shots are starting to come round in the game. We've just not been better as far as man for man goes. Let's get another shout out. We can't at the moment. It's been too soon since the last one. Oh, do we go attacking? Let's go attacking. And we will wait to see what happens here. Ball into the box. Lee takes the header. Oh, 3 1. This has not been good. Oh my god. We trail 3-1. This could be our first defeat of the season. Tight offside call, but he is onside. No one marking him. Free header into the far corner. Going to berate the team. We've got 20 minutes left to get back into this. Let's go very attacking. We've got nothing to lose now. We've been so much the better team and not done anything with it. I'm going to drag Rogers off the pitch. Ironside can come on. 15 minutes to try and find a way back into this. We haven't been able to do it all the way through, so I can't see how we're going to get goals now. And it's not the tactic. We've created the chances. We just have not put them away. And the time is just ticking down. It doesn't look like anything's going to happen. Try and fire the team up. It's just not doing anything. Any Anything I touch today, it's just not working. Oh my God. What a game. It's going to drop us to six point, to eight points behind the playoffs. 
we're still miles ahead of the drop zone, so that's not a problem. But we were on such a run, and when a run ends like this, sometimes it's all it needs it takes, and then you're on such a poor run afterwards. Expected goals, we're miles ahead of them. We've got a 2.17 expected goals to 0.58, yet they've got a 3 1 win. Noel had a fantastic game. Do you know what? I'm actually thinking of dropping Mitov, and it's not just from this one game. He's not been keeping clean sheets. And I've got my backup keeper, Callum Burton, always asking to be playing. All right, I'm going to go in there, hands in my pockets, and I'm far from pleased with the result. Demotivated a couple, but it's motivated the majority of the side. And at the end of that, we can see the other results have come in, and this is how the table now looks. 14th place we are after 21 games. We are a massive 15 points clear of Cheltenham in the relegation zone. We were predicted to finish 17th before the season started. That was before I came here. And after our great run up until today, we've made it this far. So 14th at the moment. Start looking at re-evaluating where we want to be. So Stevenage moved back into promotion contention. So here's a quick look at how the table finishes up today. We've got 7 wins, 7 draws and 7 losses. 26 scored, 27 conceded. 28 points now where do we realistically think we can finish just from the start we've had so nine games in and how many points we took from them nine games i am realistically thinking we could potentially scrape playoffs it would be tight maybe a ninth tenth finish would be more realistic but I think if the board give me a chance to get a little bit of money and say that I'll make the playoffs, I'll say I'll make the playoffs. So that brings this episode to a conclusion. We'll have a quick look at where we will join you next time. So we've got quite a few games coming up in January, plus that'll be the transfer window, but that's not really going to apply to us because I can't see us making any changes. We'll either do Crawley at the end or Barrow at the start of February and we'll get to see where we're at at that point. It might not have gone the way we wanted it to today, but I guess it could have been worse. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps us promote the channel. And if you haven't already, bash that subscribe button. For now, I'll see you again soon.